birdmentor.com where I teach advanced skills to beginning birders and thanks for joining me today. So I have a funny and slightly embarrassing story to share with you about something that happened to me and a group of my friends years ago. Now back in the day I had the privilege of being mentored by a Lakota holy man named Gilbert Walking Bull. And now Gilbert was one of the most patient people I have ever met and um, he was kind of a miraculous person, in fact, he, was, um, he never learned to speak English until he was 20 because he was raised by his grandparents in a small village on the outskirts of the reservation and where all the other um, holy men and holy women lived. And they were sort of allowed to do this because, as the story goes, the, um, the government officials who had forced everyone else to move to the reservation were actually pretty terrified of these holy men and holy women. One of the teachings that Gilbert shared with us is that the world is always talking to us and if we know how to listen and observe then we can often find the meanings in those messages. And so one of the stories he shared with us was about owls. He told us that in his tribe that owls are considered to be messengers or they can foretell the death of a loved one. And so it was not long after he shared this with us that a group of my friends were driving late at night. They were coming back from one of the programs that we were um, teaching and they apparently had an owl fly in front of their car. And then about an hour later, they had another owl glide really close to their car, almost hitting their windshield. And so they got really scared. They stopped the car and they called us right away. And they said in a panic, they asked us to go wake up Gilbert and ask what they should do. And so we, uh, <laughs> being young, we uh, ran to Gilbert's cabin, knocked on his door and woke him up in the middle of the night and told him the story. And he listened patiently to our story. And uh, when we were finished, he, he kind of nodded his head and then he uh, looked up at us and he started to chuckle. Gilbert told us that when a bird is doing what it normally does, like an owl flying at night, that it's not necessarily a message, but if, for instance, an owl were to come to your window three times while you were maybe cleaning up the dishes from lunch, now that might be something worth paying attention to. So a few years ago, my mom was given the book Animal Speak, and uh, <laughs> every time, bless her heart, that a frog would jump in the lawn or a deer would walk by in the forest, she would run to the book and she would try to figure out what it meant. And now I bring this all up because just a few days ago, as you probably already have heard, a little bird landed on the podium of Bernie Sanders as he was um, talking at one of his rallies. And the internet was all abuzz trying to figure out what kind of bird was it? What did it mean? Why did it happen? Now this is where it can get a little tricky because the meanings actually came from a particular culture's deep relationship with the other creatures that shared the world with them at that time. For instance, an owl actually in some parts of the world has a positive connotation. Now our word for inauguration actually comes from the Roman practice of inviting an augur or a priestly official who has the gift of being able to interpret the natural world and in particular the birds and their signs and then asking them to determine if the actions of a particular ruler are sanctioned by the gods based on what the signs are telling them. And so given our varied culture, uh, cultural differences, what do you think that little bird on Bernie's podium meant? If you want to, go ahead and share what you think in the comments below. And also this week, I want to ask you, what do you want to learn? So I'm willing to talk about just about anything related to learning about birds. And so I want to know, what do you want to learn? Also, if you have a story about a bird that taught you a lesson recently, please go ahead and head on over to the Bird Mentor Facebook page and share your story there. And until next week, please get out there and help spread some bird love in the world. Thanks for joining me.